I am a student of class 8 in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Allah says in Surah Adhariyat, chapter 51, verse number 56, that I created not the jinn and men except that they should worship me. My question is, then why Allah created children who die in childhood? Because they cannot worship Allah in an early age, nor is it required in the Sharia. May Allah bless you, remember me in your prayer, inshallah. The question asked by Rahmat Hussain is saying that Allah says in the Quran, Surah Dariya, chapter 51, verse 56, it's referring to the verse of the Quran where Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That we have created the jinn and the men, not but to worship me. So the question of this young brother of ours is that there are children who die at a young age and at young age they cannot worship. So why did Allah create young children who die, created children who die at a young age, they cannot worship? So what was the purpose? Point number one to be noted, that to say that young children cannot worship Allah is totally wrong. In fact, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that every child is born in Deen al-Fitr. That means every human being that is born irrespective of whether he is born in a Muslim family or a Hindu family or a Christian family or a Jewish family, he is born as a Muslim. That means he is born in Deen al-Fitr. Muslim means a person who submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a prophet said later on he is influenced by his parents, by his teachers and then he may start doing fire worship, idol worship. So according to our beloved prophet, every child is born as a Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits will to God. The organs of every human being submit to God. When a child is born, his heart is submitting to the will of God. The lungs is submitting to the will of God. The kidney is submitting to the will of God. They are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is wrong for you to say that a child does not worship Allah. In fact, 100% of newborn worships Allah. Later on, he may continue if the parents are good or teachers are good or is in the right faith, we have children praying salah, age of three, four, five, no problem. You have some people doing things which are wrong and but there's a hadith of a beloved Prophet that the pen is lifted from three types of people. Number one, a child, unless he gets matured, becomes an adult. A sleeping man until he wakes up and an insane man until he gains his sanity. So, if you find a child who is doing idol worship, he is not responsible. The parents are responsible. And he is not sinful at all. So, there are children you find at the age of five, seven, eight, going to mosque. You have children at the age of five, seven going to the temple and bowing down to idols. Surely they will not be held responsible. So the question is, why did God create children who die at a young age? If they are not responsible. Yes, they can worship Allah, they can do shirk, but they are not responsible. Why? The reply is given in the glorious Quran. Allah says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 28, that um, that Allah has made amongst your wealth and your children a test for you. That amongst the position that you have and the children you have, they are a fitna, they are a test for you. Allah repeats the message in Surah Taqabun, chapter number 64, verse number 15, that your position, your wealth and your children are a test for you. That means, if a child is born and maybe he dies before he gets matured at the age of 12 or at the age of 11, what happens? That child, according to the correct ruling, goes to Jannah. There are two opinions that one group of scholars say that any child, before he gets matured, before he gets adult, if he or she dies, direct Jannah. One group of scholars says, if a child before getting matured dies in a Muslim family, goes to Jannah. If 
it's a non-Muslim family, Allah will test him on the day of judgment and based on that will decide whether he goes to hell or heaven. But I agree with the ruling of those scholars who say that any child, whether Muslim or non-Muslim family, if he's born, if he dies before he attains adulthood, he goes to Jannah based on the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad that the pen is lifted from a person, from a child until he becomes an adult, person who sleeps until he wakes up, and a person who's insane until he gains sanity. I believe in those group of scholars who say that any child, Muslim or non-Muslim, if he dies before he gets matured, before he attains adult, adulthood, he goes to Jannah. Again, the question will remain, then why did Allah create him? Allah created him to test the parents. Maybe the parents are good practicing Muslims, they're praying five times a day. Now the child that is born is handicapped, has congenital heart defects. So do the parents yet worship Allah or not? Do they thank Allah or not? Or do they start complaining? And there's a golden rule that more difficult the test, more high is the reward. So maybe the parents were good practicing Muslim. Now Allah has decided, okay, they go to Jannah. Allah wants to give them Jannah for those. So he tests them. He gives them children who have congenital heart disease. Yet they thank Allah. They praise him. Then maybe at the age of 12, they die. So the child, inshallah, will go to Jannah. The parents, if they yet worship Allah and yet thank Allah and believe in the decision of Allah, they go to Jannah. On the other hand, some of the parents may start cursing Allah that why did you know Billah? Why did you give me such children with so many congenital defects? My life has become miserable. So these parents, they fail the test. So Allah tests different people in wealth and with children. Various tests are there. But these two verses talk about wealth. Allah gives you wealth, may make you a rich man, then he's checking you, are you giving zakat or not? Sometimes Allah gives you poverty and checks, do you yet thank Allah or not? He gives you children. Many children, they grow up, they may be good, they may be bad. The young children who may have heart disease, they may die before they become adult. All these are tests. So your main answer is, that Allah has created children who without attaining adulthood they die, they'll go to Jannah, but this is a test for their parents and the people around them. Hope that's the question.